Hi everyone, Mitchell calling. Welcome to today's Eurovision Song Contest 2014 review. And today we are looking at one of the final songs. It's guaranteed to be in the finals. It's in the big six people, so get off your complaints and rejoice to it. But we're going to look at Germany. Is it right or is it wrong? I can go on, you can go on. If you see Something. I did rank this a lot higher when I heard the audio. I was like, oh wow, cool song. It's really kind of sophisticated, folky. You know, the is it right or is it wrong? Can I go on? Is it right? And the bop, there's like a bop tempo. I really liked it and I thought her voice was kind of jazzy. I really liked it. And I watched the official music video, which was a live performance they submitted. They've now got this music video. I watched the live performance, so Naturally, I have to go off that. I listened to her sing live and it was so pitchy. Like, so pitchy. You don't know how and where to go. Is it right or is it wrong? I can't go. The entire song, she sang no notes in pitch. There's other countries that I'll be like, oh wow, it's amazing when they sing live. The pitch will be terrible. But watching that, I can't think of how I used to think of it anymore. So what cut off was the pitch. The structure of the song is brilliant. And if someone could sing it like how she sings in the music video, let's hope she does. It's lovely. I, but I think it's a really good song and I don't think she'll be at the top regardless of if, even if she sings in pitch or not. Because the way that the big six are structured is that they automatically make the final. But in the first two semi-finals, a lot of people they get a lot of the performances get a fan base then. That's when people go, oh, I liked them, I like them. So when the finals come along, they go, oh, they're still in, I'm going to vote for them to win now. And then there's countries like Germany, and they're like, well, where did you come from? Oh, I, I don't have time to decide if I like you or not. And so that's why at the bottom of the leaderboard, you always see, you know, <laughs> there's some that are amazing. Some that get hype, then yeah, they're up there. But a lot of time, United Kingdom, and Germany can be one of those things. Um, however, they won with Lena, so that kind of backfires on my thing. But I still think they have a disadvantage. So if a song like this is kind of like so-so, it won't be like in the middle range, it'll just be at the bottom. Spain does it a lot as well, but then they all have their moments, so. It all depends on the song either way. I just like the strum of the guitar, the bop bop tempo, the lyrics, the melody, Everything was great, except her voice. Terrible thing to say. I really hope that she proves me wrong and it was just one of those nights. A lot of time they film those live music videos and they choose the performance where they just won. So they're like, you win, you represent your vision. Now sing. Is it wrong? It's wrong. And you're like, what? But I didn't get the backstory. And I've people have told me before I've judged people on on their pitch and people go, oh my god, you senseless person, they just want it. And it's like, oh, that makes a little more sense. Why did they choose that video? I don't get it. Why don't they just choose a performance video? Anyway, I'm digressing so much. Thank you for watching. Please watch the next video if you'd like, or watch my past ones as well to see what I think of others. Like, comment, subscribe if you liked this video. Thank you so much. I'm Mitchell Trench. Goodbye. I'm